Hello. Today is Monday, May 24th, 2021 at 6.01 a.m. <clears throat> I guess you know it's Monday when there's high traffic <laughs> right about this time. Well, yesterday morning around this time, you know, it was Sunday, so it was, the traffic was more quiet. But all throughout the night, they've been trying to cause me, you know, they've been trying... Um, Nearly succeeded, but been trying to cause me forced diarrhea. And so, um, I had a couple of incidents last night. But, um, I don't even know. I think I'm just, I, I feel like, I feel like as if everybody is turned against me. Like I have nobody. And like, when what do you do when e even other so-called targets make you feel like you know the same way the the same stuff that the perps say about you <clears throat> and make you feel a certain way you know <clears throat> so <clears throat> it seems like you know one one way you know like if so called two so called targets, the reason why I say two so called because sometimes one is a, one is a fake TI perp and the other one is being truly targeted, <clears throat> or sometimes it's two targets that have a misunderstanding, you know. <clears throat> so I'm gonna walk, I guess, an alternative way that, that today. <clears throat> so um. If they have like a misunderstanding, or one is actually, you know, acting like a perp. <clears throat> so, I mean, I, I wonder, I don't like, as I said before, so called targeted individuals will take up for and defend and more easily forgive a perp than <clears throat> another I mean than another fellow target you know they would defend and agree with the perps <clears throat> and so I show daily what I'm going through and I don't perp nobody <clears throat> so wow I thought it would be more quiet over here <laughs> so many loud birds <clears throat> but it's like it really does seem like when I care not one person I mean when I die not one person will care y you know and so I'm just you know I I'm just not gonna um you know I'm I'm not letting anybody new in my space, as far as giving out my phone number, and um, as far as giving out my phone number or email or trying to connect with other t so-called targets, because everybody's flipping, everybody, and sometimes you kind of question the signs or don't notice the signs or the red flags, because sometimes their purpose can be kind of subtle. And, you know, it's like, even last week, they had this lady, you know, when she was trying to tell me that Alex Dupree is my handler, and I said, no, nobody's my handler. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And she's like, ah, I see. Jesus is your handler. You know, and so I figured that, right, I mean, she... This lady, she would um try to say things that trying to manipulate my emotions to feel like um she was like fear mongering and trying to make me scared, make me more scared and angry, but while pretending to be fake supportive of me, you know. And I only talked to her for like three days, so I have so much going on. And it really feels like as if everybody is against me. 
you know, the narcissistic perps already say, oh, you burn your bridges from all, from everybody. You know, people who are not narcs. I, I know from the abuse that I went through growing up, it's just certain phrases that people say that trigger me. And sometimes you'll have a conversation with somebody and they have certain kind of attitude. And it seems like not everybody does this, but just c certain people that I've come across, it's like everything they tell me is like an anger trigger or, or a trigger to make me feel bad, you know? That's that, oh, she's, wow. So um, that's that blue haired girl. She was in a green SUV this time. It's like, I guess she drives by in a different vehicle every day with those, with her blinking lights. I guess emergency flashers. So, the two so-called targets that I try to talk to for emotional support when I lost my job, you know, they, they weren't there to comfort or support me or help me feel better. All they did was condemn me, kick me down even harder, and blame me, you know, and, you know, made, made me feel bad, like I did something wrong, made me feel bad. So, I was trying to seek out emotional support from who I thought was targeted friends. And so, I, I'm sitting here wondering, is everyone selling out? Oh, the birds are extra loud today. So, um, so, um, it's like, now I'm feeling really bad, like a loser. And it's like, what, what I'm, I'm trying to say is that, you know, it, just because I may come off to act, you know, if you perceive of me to act childish, doesn't mean you have a right to disrespect me if I'm old, almost, or just about old enough to be your mother. You know, so, it's like, I mean, they had this girl I was just, had been talking to for a couple of months, and she reached out to me and said she wanted to help, but from day one, she acted like a narcissistic control freak, fake friend, and her and another person seemed like when I try to reach out to them for emotional support um, about the online perps bullying me, you know, they straight up told me that they're not going to, you know, step in and defend me, you know, but it's like, well, I thought a true friend would have done that on their own, <clears throat> so, and, and it's like, I still dealt with them even after, you know, but then, not that they had to do it, but, but it's like, I'm just shocked that when a, a real true friend would stick up for, and, and, you know, defend you if they really cared about you. Um, so, if I try to, um, you know, talk about what I'm going through, and then the, the girl will say, oh, well, I'm here so, for support. But then every opportunity you say, oh, I'm just sick and tired of all this drama in the TI community and stuff like that. So me and her, um, I mean, it's like she's one of those type of people that almost everything she says is like triggering. But that's not the case with everybody I talk to. That's what I'm saying, you know. But if she's 23 years old and over-exaggerates her age, like narcissistic abusers, over-exaggerate their age and lines, oh, I'm 24 when you're not 24 yet. <clears throat> so they act like they delusionally believe that they're perfect and mature and normal. And, um, you know, just certain things. I mean, she, the, the way she talked to me in certain ways, like as if I'm dumb and don't know any better when I have a bachelor's degree. Like, 
just before I got my stimulus check, she's like, spend it wisely. And I'm like, I don't need nobody to tell me spend it wisely. I mean, I spend it the best way I can in my situation. And, you know, it's everybody's saying that with the stimulus check, they don't understand why they gave everybody a check at a time where all the weather was bad and, and also everything was made up, made to be more expensive. So it was, they, I guess they, they deliberately manipulated, manipulated it to be difficult to save whatever you wanted to try to save, you know, so, and, and a few just other things that, um, a few, a few other things that, you know, she said that, you, you know, triggered me and stuff like that, but me and her were talking about, you know, a, you know, a few things last night, and so, Shortly before we got off the phone, she told me, you know, oh, would you, she told me about, like, agree with another person about condemning me for going on my twin sister's page. But as I said, when I'm attacked hard enough by random people coming on my page or if I get a lot of thumbs down and stuff, or I can't even, you know, YouTube search my own name because of all these videos. Like, if I'm trying to search for one of my own videos, sometimes it's easier for me to um search my name you know in the in the box and then sometimes a video that i'm looking for of my own will come up so it's like i can't even look up my own videos because their videos high up on the list you know because and so i mean how you think that you act like you're mature and stay out of drama but a certain like you say, oh, I'm here for support, but then you say, oh, I don't want to. I got time to hear all this drama or whatever. Well, why you call me then? You, you know, why did you reach out to me and, and the other person too? Like, why did y'all reach out to me just to pretend to be supportive and be a friend, and then turn around and stab me and hurt me? I mean, build me up like you think you're supportive of me, and then turn around and hurt me, and I mean, turn around and stab me in the back. You you know so. If, if I already warned you about people being perps, why is it, if you're supposed to be targeted like me, why would you go and, um, why would you go line up, I mean, uh, why would you go and, um, go befriend the people who, well, you said you didn't want to, um, you know, not that you had to, but I, I figure even on Twitter or something like that or Facebook or you know, if somebody's bullying another target, you know, you, a lot of times they usually step in. So it's like with the job thing, <clears throat> the job thing, and then, you know, the online perping and bullying, I realized, well, damn, y'all ain't on my, my, on my side like y'all say y'all were, you know. Even though they helped me out, you know, gave me a few little donations or helped me out here or there or whatever. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> You know, they make me feel like I'm the problem or something's wrong with me or I deserve, like, like feeling like the perps, like I deserve to be eliminated from society. <clears throat> so this girl, I wonder if she's been a fake T.I. perp the whole time because, you know, it's like the fact that she came and she came, reached out to me and, and then, you know, seemed like almost everything she said was like an anger trigger. And like she, it's like um, she seemed like she has like certain traits of people who you know act like a narcissistic control freak fake friend or certain things. She sounded like was perping me, you know. And she, and it's like I show what I'm going through every day, but. She's like some of those, like how the fakes do, only want to do like self-righteously do two-minute videos or not want to show much at all. And, you, you know, first thing she did was go on my twin, like if she said that she didn't want to, you know, hear about me and my twin sister or whatever, but she, I saw a comment that she said we slander each other, but no, I'm telling the truth. And my twin sister's the, sister's the one who's making a doggone smear campaign to try to you know, cover what she's doing, you know, and so I don't have flying monkeys, 
she does. So this girl, when we got off the phone, like she tried to make it like, oh, I don't want to be involved in drama. But one of the first things she did was go back on my twin sister's page and being like, and comment on one of her videos and say, well, um, yeah, you were right about your sister. And um, she said, you were right about your sister. And, you know, I can't tell her nothing. And she, I don't remember everything she said, but I do remember she she said, oh, yeah, I know she's going to go and do it. Like she was hoping that I would, I mean, it seemed like she tried to say whatever as hurtful as possible to my twin sister about me and hope that I see it. And then say that, um, you know, I know she's going to do go and do a video about me, but I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> and so then she said that, um, she, she's, I mean, it's like, I, I felt like, I, I mean, she tried to say that, oh yeah, Brandy, you, you, you know, you're, you're right. You're right about your twin sister. You've been right all along and this and that. But if you're targeted, I, I mean, if you're targeted, why the hell would you go, go and agree with the perp? If you say like, before when you say oh it's obvious that they're perping you or i know that they're perping you <clears throat> but when you get mad at me you know i got mad and blocked her you know she started to you know like trigger me and make me mad and then try to handle up on me and try to psychologically and ver think she can psychologically and verbally discipline and lecture me and ask me questions like as if i'm the child and so she tried to say oh yeah she's 37 years old and act like she told my twin sister oh yeah she's 37 years old and act like she's four and stuff like that <clears throat> so she said i'm 37 years old and act like i'm four and she said that um i am done trying to um I, she said something like i am done trying to handle her with small kid gloves you know so i mean if you say you're against drama why the hell would you go voluntarily throw yourself in drama you know the moment if I get into it with you, you know, and of course, my twin sister had three follow-up videos and stuff like that, you know, <clears throat> I don't know, I just, I mean, I, I mean, and then certain things that people will promise that they'll be a loyal friend, and you wouldn't think that they would turn against you, but then they turn against you, and um, it's like they'll turn against you in the most wicked and worst ways that you never saw that side of a person before. That they'll use everything that you said as a weapon against against you once they turn against you and be betray you and stuff. You know, so... Um, and I got some more, a lot of more stuff going on too. You know, it's like I thought that we were supposed to be there to you know, talk about we, what we're going through, because this girl, um, she tried, I mean, it wasn't, how come it wasn't drama when she, when she, when she would tell me about her parents perping her or doing stuff to her, or if she was telling me about the lady she stayed with and her husband or whatever perping her, or she didn't say that, um, I mean, when, when she got into a couple of arguments or whatever with a couple of male TIs, I, I mean, I listened and was supportive and didn't judge her, and I didn't call her a drama queen. So, I mean, and other so-called targeted friendships is like that, too, that they go to you, everything got to be one-sided, and they go to you with their problems. But then when, when you try to go to them with what you got to say, oh, I don't want to hear no drama, or I don't have time for drama and stuff. But this girl act like she thinks she can freaking handle up on me and try to, I mean, just certain things that she say and how she say it, you, you know, I can tell she seemed like a narcissistic control freak fake friend and everything like that. And it's like, targets, I mean, why would you go inside with the perp if, um, you know, if you're not targeted? Or else you've been a, a fake T.I. perp just sent there just to trigger me and make me mad. You know, every con every phone, just about every phone conversation. And, you know, lead me on to think that you're there for support. And, and she'd be like, oh, I'm, I'm here for support. But, you know, only to use that against me as a weapon against me and stuff like that. You can, how are you going to say you're here for support, but then... 
say that, oh, I don't want to hear any drama when somebody, I mean, you wait till I'm in a crisis to say, oh, I don't want to hear no drama or oh, it's just so much drama, you know, and then she try to say, oh, you know, you, you and, you know, the online with that perps or whatever, y'all should keep that to yourselves. But now, why the hell would she voluntarily go on my twin sister's page and say stuff about me if she said, oh, I don't, I don't want to be involved in no drama? You know, so how come she, if she thinks she's so mature, why didn't she just, you know, be quiet and nip it in the bud herself? You know, and so I don't know. It's like so much stuff. It's like I end, me ending up with enemies and then everybody going to use everything against me and make the smear camp. Like the first thing they do when a, per, when a so-called target gets mad at me, if you know damn well that my twin sister's a perp, that's one of the first things they do is, um, you know, they hit it where it hurts and go straight up to my twin sister and start acting like on purpose to try to make me jealous. You know, they, they try, I say try to make me jealous. They'll go and act like they support my twin sister harder and more than, you know, they act like as if they go and support my twin sister more than they support, than they supported me. You know, if, if they try to get closer to her, like more close with her than, than they were with me. And they seem like, well, you're supposed to be his friend, but you ain't that loyal to me. But then they'll r rather go to bat for her. But you're supposed to be targeted, though. You know, so, I mean, and, and it's just a lot of situations and a lot of so-called friendships made me feel like the worst loser, like I am a, like a bad person, you know, and, and I'm not trying to be for trouble or anything like that, you know, because I didn't realize, you know, they say that if you got complex PTSD um, and been through all this trauma, most people are going to be insensitive and uncaring. And um, if you seem childish, they say something about, um, arrested development and, and stunted growth, growth or whatever it's like being around so growing up around so many narcissistic controlling and abusive people who still trying to control you and, uh, and abuse and traumatize you even in adulthood and won't allow you to grow up and then you know after that being isolated for at, for at least a min minimum of eight eight or more years and so you know, I'm I'm trying to heal and struggle with what I'm going through. But you know, if people think I'm just nothing but trouble or drama or or you know just negative and miserable, well, I'm I'm just not gonna reach out to pe other people no more. I'm not, you know, and it's, it seems like they just if if you don't want to be for drama, why when you get angry with me, you use everything as a, as a weapon against me, and then I end up going to war with you. And a, a whole damn mob. So <clears throat> it's like I'm. I mean, I, I felt like I'm trying to keep my composure and avoid exploding and going off and stuff like that. I'm just going through so much. Not that I'm trying to be a drama queen, but I'm just going through so much. But I figured, well, maybe I should just stay a loner and. You, you know, so I won't have to have altercations with people and stuff like that. So <clears throat> I'm going to go now.